What's going on folks? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge. Today I want to show you the Winnebago Access 30BH. Before we get started, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you can get an update every time we post something really cool like this. Now we also always get the question, is it still available? What's the price? We would love to answer that for you, but our competitive pricing is updated daily. So for current availability and pricing, check the link below. As you know, we like to inform you guys in the videos more than try to sell stuff. So again, check the link below if you want to know all that stuff. Let's jump into this awesome trailer. Right now I am on the entry side of the trailer. I want to mention, I didn't, if you watched our 26BH video, you'll, I did the same thing. I didn't pull this out far enough to put the awning out all the way, but this is almost a full length awning, it's huge awning, LED lights underneath. Again, it's not extended all the way, but this offers great shade to make it really comfortable whenever it's a hot day like it is today. Also, I want to mention the pass-through storage here. So you have a full pass-through storage on this access. I love that it's the same floor, same wall material that you have on the inside because it makes it all just seem streamlined. It makes everything just look a lot better. The fit and finish is fantastic. Also, this is pre-wired for the Furion side view cameras and rear view cameras. Almost took my head out there. For some of the smaller trailers, we find that our customers will opt for the rear view camera. They don't install the side views as much. For a trailer this size, I think it's great because you have your monitor, you can see the sides of you and the back of you, so you know what's going on around you at all times, which helps you stay in greater control. Now, this is what some folks call a stick and tin trailer. This is, <coughs> excuse me, it's aluminum uh, siding, wooden frame. So this is more of an entry level trailer. If this is a great way for you to get into the, get into camping at a very affordable price. Um, but also if you've had tons of trailers or and this is just what you're comfortable with, it's a great way to go. I think that Winnebago has taken the stick and tin and made it a lot better. The fit and finish is fantastic. The total look of the product is just great and you get that Winnebago quality. So I want to mention our stabilizer jacks as well. Instead of having one switch for both your front jacks and one switch for both your rear jacks, you have individual switches for all four stabilizer jacks. So yes, they are stabilizers. They're not meant to level. But since they're individually operated, you can actually do a pretty good job of leveling this thing out whenever you're kind of off kilter a little bit. So let's scoot back a little bit in a second, but I want to show you the solid step here. So this is the Lippert triple step solid step. So it's very sturdy. It touches the ground. It's great whether you're young or old to get up and then out, to get in and out of the trailer with no problems. And when you're not using it or when the trailer's in transport, you flip the steps inside. So let's scoot back a little bit. I want to show you a little hidden bonus that we have on this 30BH. So before I show you what's behind this secret door, I do want to let you guys know that this is a true Four Seasons camper, so you do have heated and enclosed tanks, and this will be good all year round. And I actually forgot to mention, in that pass-through storage, you do have a vent for your furnace, so that compartment is heated as well. So again, true Four Seasons, it'll be great wherever you take it all year round. So behind this, if you watch our video on the Access 26BH, it had a much bigger door. And sure, for a full outdoor kitchen, usually you're used to seeing bigger doors, but for this, you still have a full outdoor kitchen. It's just in a smaller compartment. So you don't have the drawer that you had on the 26BH, but you have the griddle here. So this is a fantastic little griddle. You can do smash burgers, bacon, hibachi, you name it. And you just scoop all your grease into this little hole, and then you've got the grease catch there. So very convenient here. You've got the propane quick connect underneath, so you can hook this grill, or for some reason you wanted to do, bring a bigger grill, you could hook it to that propane quick connect as well. Small fridge here, but it's fantastic for a couple different things. It's great for putting like your meats that you're gonna grill, or even great for just putting a little drink right here. I mean, what's better than that? Flip a burger, grab a drink. I mean, that's the stuff of dreams right there. I absolutely love that. So guys, I wanna check out the inside of this trailer. I think you're gonna love it. I've been blown away by this thing with just one little look at it. So let's check it out. All right, guys, welcome inside. This 30BH is beautiful, very roomy, as you can tell, more roomy than the 26BH access that we did in the last video. Um, I really think you guys are going to like this. we got a couple of hidden surprises for you that we'll get to in a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, this trailer is beautiful. 
So the, with the flooring, I, I wanted to point out that there's no carpet in this. Again, that's probably something that most of the trailers you're looking at now have shied away from carpet. But it still needs to be mentioned just because it's a great thing to, to, to do. You don't have to worry about your pets stinking it up, your kids stinking up, even yourself spilling anything on the carpet. You don't have to worry about it. Even the material that's on the seats is very, very easy to wipe stuff off if it spills on it. So I like that a lot. The first thing I want to show you guys is kind of do a little bit more focus on this kitchen because it offers tons of prep space and it's just very usable space. There's no wasted space it seems like to me. Let's check it out. All right, so now you can see the kitchen a little bit better. So like I mentioned, just a lot of really usable space here. I love the little nooks that you have underneath. Now these aren't connected, so they're two separate little nooks that you can put, I guess right here you can put sponges or soaps, really you you name it. Um, you can just figure out what you want to put there, but tons of space. You've got underneath cabinet storage, great spot for a little trash can here. You've got your three burner stove with range hood up top, convection microwave here. Storage for your pots and pans underneath. And then you're going to have your breakers and fuses here. So you do have a huge sink on these. It is one big open sink. You can use these sink covers to, as extra countertop space, or of course they can double as cutting boards. Also, I love the kitchen faucet. I like that they can pull out. It makes it easier for washing dishes. And then also I love when they're like oversized kitchen faucets too. So it just doesn't seem like you're bumping your knuckles when you wash your hands. It's just really complete. So I really love like this little, I don't want to call it like a, a standing bar. I don't, it's like, I just love this little area here because it's great where you can come in, set a drink, you can, you know, set your keys. Um, I just, I like it. You can come lean and, you know, chat with your friend or your wife as they're, um, you know, cooking or washing or whatever you want. I, just, I don't know. It makes it feel really homey. I really, really like it. You also have two plugs right here. So great for coffee makers. Again, charge your phone, your air fryer, whatever. You can put it perfectly here. And also you've got a window that I've got closed right now for lighting, but that provides tons of natural light. Above the sink, you're going to have more storage up here. Now these are two individual, yeah, okay, so this is going to be one open compartment. This is going to have a shelf inside, so there's multiple levels there. So I like that a ton too. You've got three pull-out drawers here. And again, guys, this is something that you got to check it out to see, but you can just pull on the drawers and feel the quality of this access. Um, and to the left of here, this is where you're going to have all your controls, all your tank monitors, your, your gas and electric, water heater, all the light switches are all right here. So very conveniently located there. So I want to flip around now, and actually I guess I could point out here, guys, this is a spot where you could put a TV if you wanted. It's pre-wired for it up here, so you could put a very good sized TV. Now to the, my left, you can see, uh, you might be able to see, but you've got a 12 volt refrigerator there. So 12 volt compressor driven. You know these are my favorite fridges if you've watched our YouTube videos before. So the fridge is going to cool a lot faster, so will the freezer, than what you have in like a two-way fridge. And then from our experience, typically they have less problems. They just work well most of the time, so it's great. They're very reliable and a very great fridge. So I want to flip around to show you the recliners and the dinette here. It's a, like I said, it's just a really, really homey living space here. Very, very comfortable. And before we go any further, this is a 50 amp trailer. So you, and we already have it installed with the two AC units. So a 30, 30 foot trailer in Louisiana, you're going to be a lot more comfortable with two ACs. I don't like to have a 30 foot trailer without two ACs. So you've got a bedroom non-ducted and then a 15 K ducted AC for the living area and the, the rear bedroom as well. Um, so yeah, let's flip around so you can check out some of these conveniences. All right, guys, so I'm in this really comfortable recliner now. I love the new upholstery that they've done in the Access. I, I tell you the truth, I don't know if this is in the other Winnebago trailer products, but it is in the Access. I love the little accent line here, the accent line here. It just kind of makes it look really good. Um, it, they're really comfortable seats as well, very plush. The two outside chairs recline. The middle one, oh, what? That was a total guess. I, if it, that didn't work, I was going to be embarrassed. The middle one folds over. And you've got cup holders here, armrest, that is very nice. Um, only thing that you, you could point out is that the TV would not be, if you mount a TV there, you'd have to put it on a mount to kind of angle it here. That's kind of the only thing. To tell you the truth, when I'm camping, I don't really watch TV uh, until you know maybe the end of the day. At that point, I'm usually pretty tired. Um, but yeah, really, really comfortable recliners here. So you just pull this little arm, they do recline. And then all the, our curtains are drawn right now. But you have four windows just on this slide. So tons of natural light that comes in here. It's really comfortable. And I know I said it three or four times, but this is just a really homey floor plan. Like it feels, I just like it. And actually, I didn't even mention too, I'm seeing it from this angle. So you've got, right when you walk in the door to your right, you've got some hangers where you can put 
you know, coats, hats. And then underneath that little nook that I was standing at, you have three more hangers, which for a total of like six hooks right there, where you can hang keys, dog leashes. I mean, you name it, their book sack, purse, whatever. I, I really, it, it just seems very well thought out. I'm impressed with it. It's also got great space. A lot of times in videos, it's hard to get a good angle because it's, it's very tight in RVs. It's just kind of the nature of a lot of them. But this is really, really roomy. We were able to get a great angle and she's very, very comfortable um, to kind of walk in around and, and move around in. So guys, now I want to flip to the back. As I mentioned, there are a couple surprises, things that, again, I've been surprised by this trailer. I think you're really, really going to like by this 30BH. All right, so we flip the camera to the rear now. You can see the dinette here. If you've seen anything about trailers, you probably, or any really RVs, you can figure out that this dinette does flip down or does make down to a bed. So you can sleep another two people there. I didn't mention those recliners don't make a bed. Um, if you wanted to like sleep in a recliner, you could. Um, but yeah, that actually does not make a bed, but you do have a bed here. So you also have storage right here, which is great for me. This would be a great spot for board games or just little knickknacks. And then you've got even more storage there. Um, underneath the dinette, you've got cabinet doors that are open so you can access either side storage or you can remove the or just pick up the, the bottom cushion. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I just coughed into the mic, guys. But uh, yeah, you can remove those platforms and easily access that so you can put bigger items underneath. Um, you can get a better view of the fridge here. 10 cubic foot fridge, guys, really, really big. And uh, to the right of the fridge, this would be the pantry space. Um, and you can see I just had to put a little bit of effort to pull that. So that's a great sign because when you're going down the road, your canned goods and all your stuff isn't going to fall out. But you've got a triple level storage here. So tons of storage for, I mean, really, I guess you could even use it as closed storage. But just fantastic storage here and it goes deep. It goes about a good two foot deep. Um, and then a pull out drawer here, which is very convenient as well. So I mentioned that we have some surprises. This is the bathroom. Bathroom is pretty cool, but really it's the, the main surprise I want to show you is this. So I did mention this is a 30 BH floor plan. This is a really a bunk room floor plan. It's a small bunk room, but it's a bunk room nonetheless. So check this out. All right, so we are in the bunk room now. I don't know if you guys saw the last video that we did on the Access 26 BH, but if you did, I mentioned that I would like to have a, cur a curtain for some privacy for either of the bunks. This went a whole step further. There's a door right here, an actual closing door. So you have a, a real bunk room. Again, it's not a huge bunk room. It's not like a full width bunk room, but it's a bunk room nonetheless with good size mattresses on top and bottom. At the far end there, you have 120 plugs, USB and USB-Cs on both bunks as well as lights. Now here's a little hidden surprise for you. You have the rear half door, so you can access this. You can flip this bed up. You can put bikes, you can put ice chests, kayaks. You can really store a lot there, so that is a hidden bonus. Um, I don't know if you can put a TV here or not. I'm not sure. There are plugs right here that I, I don't know. If anyone knows, let us know down in the comments. Um, but yeah, this is really impressive little bunk room. A little nook storage stuff here for, for your kids' gains or, or I, you mean, shoes, you name it. Um, I, I really, really am impressed with this bunk room. And you do have a, a vent for the AC as well, so it is going to get constant airflow in here also. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this bunk room. Um, both of these are 300 pound capacity. So for you know most kids, you should be good, even if you put one or two kids up here. Um, yeah, I really like this bunk room. So I'm going to flip it now. We're going to check out the bathroom. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I am very impressed with this floor plan. Guys, this bathroom is awesome. I, I just said it. I've got to say it again. Like it's not, it's not all that often. I've camped my entire life. I've always been around RVs. It's not usually, it's not common that I'm like just taken aback. I mean, I'm so impressed with this floor plan. Like genuinely so impressed with all the hidden features. I mean, this bathroom, I I, had, I waited to have a genuine reaction because I didn't open that bunk room until we right before we did the video. This bathroom I haven't opened until just now. This is so much bigger than what I expected. Uh, I, it really is. So you've got a huge shower here. You've got a, uh, a skylight. So for you taller folks, you'll be just fine. You're going to have just a little uh, hanging shower curtain here. You could change it and add the Nautilus hybrid shower, shower door if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, this is great size here. Tons of room. You've got a little spot here where you can put your soap and stuff like that. And then you've got a big mirror here, which is great. Um, you've got little, cat, little, little nooks here that are great for storage, toilet paper, little towels. Underneath you have storage. You've got a sink with a good faucet so you're not hitting your knuckles. Good size sink. Um, you do have plugs in here. And then you do have your medicine cabinet storage here, which is great. Now the toilet. 
is a porcelain toilet. Again, this continues to surprise. You do have a duct for your AC in here, so you're gonna get constant cool flow in the air in here as well. Now, I mentioned this on the 26 BHS if you watched, or the 26 BH access if you watched that video that we last did, but it's the same thing with this. I think the bathroom is very well thought out because a lot of times when you sit down on the toilet, your knees are just not that comfortable in RVs. They don't really place it in good spots. This is comfortable whether the door's open or closed. You're very comfortable, your knees aren't hitting this, and since it's a taller porcelain toilet, it's very comfortable to sit down. You're not sitting way low, and it feels very sturdy with the porcelain. So yeah, I am really, really impressed with this floor plan. I wanna flip around and show you the bedroom and kind of wrap this thing up, but this is, I mean, this is an absolute home run for me. So if you guys watched our video on the 26BH Access, I know I've, I've drawn to that a couple times, but it's a great video, you should check it out. But if if you did, you'll notice this bath or this bedroom is actually very, very similar to what we had in the 26BH. So it's got a sliding door, so you have the privacy. Now the difference is this one has your, your non-ducted 13.5 AC right here. To, so you've got an AC unit that is just for this bedroom, which is great. You also have ducts on the regular AC. Um, which if you're going to use both of them, I would probably close those so the rest of the trailer gets more airflow. If not, you just got extra airflow, which is great. Um, but yeah, this be this bedroom is great. So you have hanging storage on either side, and they're both evenly sized store or evenly sized compartments. A lot of times you'll have one bigger and one smaller, which is kind of annoying. Um, these are both the same size, which is great. Again, if you watched our last video, I'm going to say it again. The opening that is behind this is huge. You normally don't see such a big opening behind the closet space. I couldn't tell you why this is a lot bigger, but I can tell you that it certainly is a lot bigger. You can put your CPAP, you can put drinks, snacks, you name it, you can put it right there. <clears throat> Both sides are going to have 120 plugs, USB and USB-C, which are fantastic for all your devices and all that jazz. Underneath, you're going to have drawers on either side as well. That could be for your books, your reading glasses, small stuff like that could be stored in where it's not going to move around. Underneath the bed. You have storage compartments on either side, and then you have a middle opening, which I always like to say is really great for dogs, or if you just want to stuff random stuff in there, you'd be fine. You have window on either side, great for natural light, makes it, again, feel very homey in this, and very comfortable for both sides, which is a plus. Also, this bed is a 60 by 80 full-size queen. It's not a short queen, it's a full-size queen, and you can walk around it. So, guys, I, I really am just extremely impressed with this 30BH. You've got to come check this thing out in person. Feel free to ask for me. Again, I'm Cam. We really, really appreciate you guys stopping by. Again, for any current availability or pricing, check the link below to our website. We've got all that updated every day. Guys, we'd love to chat with you. Give us a call. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thanks so much for watching. A couple quick reminders before you go. If you haven't subscribed and liked the video, please do that. Leave comments below. We love to go back and forth with our customers, answer questions you have. And again, put those questions. If you want something answered specifically, put it in there. Also, check out one of these other videos. We hope that you enjoy them. We hope you've been educated by them and enjoy the time you spend as well. Thanks again and enjoy the journey.